Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a what's on my iPhone. So I done a what's on my iPhone quite a while ago and um, when I actually first got it. Um, but since then a few apps have been deleted, a few apps have been installed um, and a few things have changed. So I thought I would do an updated version. Now I still have the album Pro Max. <laughs> still have it, still here um, in my hands but I absolutely love this phone. Um, I will be very gutted when I go and get a new one, um, but yeah, absolutely love it and I'm going to show you guys what is on it just now. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't know, then I am uploading every single day this month, so don't forget to hit that bell when you hit the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload. And let's just get on to the video. <laughs> Okay, so first thing first about my phone, I have a cracked screen protector, which is looking fantastic, and I have a new case, um, it's not new for me, but it's new for you guys because I didn't have this on last time. This is a Kenzo case, um, although I caught the little bit, so it's supposed to be pink around the camera here, um, and I caught it and that's pulled off and ripped, so great, we just ruined our case. And then when I take the case off, I have like... It's a gold one, um, but it's quite like rose goldy. Okay, so I've just switched on my screen record, um, and on the first page I just have like all the general things. I don't move things around um, either. I should actually move it over a bit so I can pop um, the phone here. Um, I don't move things around. I used to like down at the bottom bar used to like put my messages and my phone and my Facebook and my Snapchat and stuff. I don't do that anymore. I just kind of leave stuff where Apple put them and I'll just kind of make do with where things are. Um, and also please ignore the fact I have so many emails and so many like notifications on other pages and stuff. The reason for that is I've been working a lot more hours and I haven't been able to keep on top of my mail like I used to. Um, plus it's actually Black Friday weekend as I'm filming this so I have a lot of emails from companies trying to sell you all their Black Friday deals. So on the first page I just have like my mail, my calendar, my photos, camera, weather, clock, maps, notes, <laughs> reminders, news, app store, settings, home, health, stocks, wallet iTunes store, flight radar because we love to see it where all of the planes that are flying above us are going and wishing that they would just like land in the back garden and um, for us to jump on. And then I have something for my work and then I have my fitness pal which I really really enjoy to use fitness pal and um, it helps me know like how much nutrients 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 and how beneficial things I'm eating and stuff are um, and also like being calorie, calorie deficient and stuff like that I like that app and um, then a Fitbit app for my Fitbit um, a Slim Flash challenge I haven't used that app in god knows how long protect Scotland hi guys we've one of them that has downloaded the app um, and then a Wella professional shade chart which is really good for um, doing clients hair because it means that really they're getting it set up again you're having a laugh um, when you go on it it's got all the shades of like colours and stuff so you, when you're sitting with your client you can sit and have a look at all of these different colours um, and it'll show you like how the colour will look in dark and light um, and natural light hitting on it and then like your room light hitting on it it shows you it's such a good app um, and then down at the bottom I've just got my phone, my safari, my messages and then is it iTunes music or something that I've never used and then when I go over to the next page I have a lot um, I have FaceTime, my calculator, this folder with the stuff for my watch and my fitness and Translate. Then I've got t Apple TV, iMovie, find my iPhone, my bank, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, Netflix, Pinterest, Twitter, Countdown. I love that Countdown app. Um, it still tries to remind me when my 18th birthday is which I'm turning 20 next year, so I don't know why it does that, but I still count down to my 18th birthday. Um, and then I've got photos and videos, so I've got like my YouTube studio, my YouTube, my tube buddy. Then I've got like Insta size, Outlook, Canva, Colour Tone, Fonto, Photograds, Eraser, Pixar, Lightroom, YouTube Tracker, 
Um, I've got loads of different like apps for um, editing photos that I actually do need to go through because the likes of like PicMonkey and SparkPost and all of these ones on this page um, and all of these ones on this page apart from I think Lightroom and Eraser I don't use. Um, I use Canva all the time. Canva is my go-to. Um, I use that on both my computer and my phone to do my thumbnails. And then I just have like different like student things that I haven't yet deleted. And then I've got like my Depop, my PLT app, my free prints. Love free prints. Love getting free photos printed. Boots, Greggs, Harvey Nicks, Morrison's app, In The Style, Krispy Kreme, Starbucks, Costa, McDonald's, National Lottery, trust the National Lottery, um, the pub app or whenever I go to a pub that uses that app I can just order, um, Moonpig and then we've got like a Tesco club card, eBay, Amazon, Witherspoons, TGI's, Lidl's, KFC, I actually never use my KFC app. I probably should. And then Uber, and then Hollister and Subway, Admiral, Too Good To Go, Influencer, um, Superdrug, all of those fun apps that never get touched on my phone um, that I could probably live without. And then we've got 8 Ball Pool, Coin Master, Candy Crush, Sandballs, I absolutely love Sandballs. I play it all the time if it wants to load because it's got a habit of not loading just now. Um, and for a good while there it just didn't work, like it just wouldn't go past this screen. And I was getting really frustrated because me and Kyle always um, play this and he was always beating me because I always used to play it on his phone and then he used to play it like when I wasn't there. Um, so he was actually beating me. So yeah, um, this level, I'm awful at this level, oh my goodness. What even is this? Oh, I need to fire, that's what I need. Yeah, I absolutely love this game. Um, one I think of the best games I've ever played, to be perfectly honest. It's just so... See, when you're at work and you're just wanting to relax, or you're in the house and you're wanting to chill or whatever, then it's such a good game to play and kind of take your mind off things and relax you and I've got cut the rope and cut the rope too because I feel like those like see when you got a new iPod for Christmas um then I feel like the standard games to download on it would be like sort of like cut the rope and stuff and ever so often I go through a phase where I'm like right okay I want to go like proper like I say retro obviously it's not retro but I want to go like proper retro and download all the old games that I used to play when I used to get my iPod um so I downloaded them and then I still play my cafe if you are a returning subscriber then and you watch my old what's my iPhone then I showed you guys my little cafe in this to be fair it's not actually improved that much because I I have hardly played it to be honest then I've got Heyday, Cooking Home, Primark Legends because I've seen that they advertised playing like that they had a game um, so I actually downloaded that and it's quite cool, very cool. Highly recommend you go and download it, but it's quite cool. Um, Fast Food Inc, Mall World, because who didn't love that Facebook game? Township, SpongeBob and Madagascar. And then I just have like a, kind of like a financial folder. And then I've got like Google Earth, Met Office and BBC Weather. And then I've got Disney Plus and I've got Flows so we can track all of our hormonal situations that go on. Telegram and then our trusty TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, oh! if you don't follow me on TikTok, then please do. Um, that is it here. I have all of my um, draft videos ready to go, which a lot of them probably will be up by the time you watch this video. Um, but head over there and give me a little follow. And then I just have like Ups, Yodel, DHL, DPD, Royal Mail. Amazon Music, Hermes for like tracking parcels and stuff and I've got my IGTV and I've got like ASOS and Misguided and Zara and Cherries and then HelloFresh and I've just got like another wee financial one there and then I've got Chrome and I've got like a medical one, different NHS, oh Couch to 5k that is a good app um, that I've been using and then I've got like other apps, I've got far too many apps because I feel like when you go places um, 
particularly like Glasgow and Edinburgh, a lot of the pubs and bars and stuff have their own app because they went through a period where they would only let you like order through an app rather than go up to a bar or they were trying to reduce the risk of like staff coming over to you and stuff so I feel like everywhere I went I had to download their app. And then I've got more games because these are like my puzzle games, I've got a Louis Vuitton game which is actually quite cute. Um, so I will give them that and it is free which is surprising it's probably like I should do a video of like buying the cheapest thing on Louis Vuitton and it's actually a Louis Vuitton game that you can download from that store for free and just kind of sit and play it for you guys because that's the cheapest thing I've came across <laughs> so we've got like a little Louis and then he's like going to try and god I haven't played this in ages only days mate what have we got it can like pick up stuff and um like he needs to get up there and stuff and yeah <laughs> it's just covered in like the Louis Vuitton monogram and then I've got like ball sorter and then drop the number and just like loads of different what would you even call them like relaxing games um and then I've got bubble buster <laughs> fallout shell or um Farmville, I am, absolutely love this app, I've talked about it before. So it's, it comes through as many times as you want a day um, and as often as you want and it's just loads of new different um, like manifestation wallpapers and you can actually like put it like different themes um, and then you can like screenshot them and or save them and then make them like your background wallpaper which is really really good and then I've got fished them because they kept advertising it on other games and I was like right okay you've convinced me I'll download it and play it and see what all the fuss is about then I've got O2 priority because O2 give you like the best priority tickets and stuff ever and then multi maze and farm hero saga because I actually downloaded that last night um, after I don't know, like, I just think the little, like, carrots and apples and stuff are quite cute. Uh, I just kind of remembered about the game and then thought, oh, they're quite cute. And then the little onion that's crying. It's so cute. And then, obviously, when you go over, you've got, like, the big, like, squares that you can see with all of your apps and other, like, folders. So, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye!